Uh, folks, I just thought I'd show you my uh, setup of my Chinese diesel heater at, uh, at my home. I do have alternative heating, I have oil fired heating, but I just thought I'd try a cheaper method. So, uh, anyway, I've made this cabinet from scrap wood just to keep it all tidy and keep it uh, out of the weather. And you might wonder why I've got it outside as opposed to inside somewhere, but it's safer because of course the fumes are outside plus there's no smell of diesel or anything like that and no noise of course the pump ticks away and although it's relatively quiet I don't hear it at all inside the house so this is the cabinet it sits in and it sits up on these two before bits of wood there there's the exhaust under there and then there's my air, air intake and I drilled a few extra holes in the air intake um, after some recommendation off uh, somebody else's video on YouTube. Um, I watched many videos on YouTube and uh, sort of picked the best bits that are suitable for me. And this is what I came up with. And there's, uh, there's where my uh, the air goes in. I take in fresh air. I know some people re uh, take in recycled air from inside the house but I found that if I did this way I don't get so much condensation in the house I used to have the windows used to steam up before you know whenever you're, you're using the shower or have a kettle on or boiling a pan of water but with this I find it uh, the, the moisture content is very very low so if I open up the lid There we go, you can see I've uh, marked it out here, showing uh, litres, and uh, there's my trickle charger. I know some people use a, a uh, 12 volt supply straight from the mains, but because we get power cuts here, in fact we've had two this week already, I decided to use a trickle charger and a battery. And this particular brand is quite good because it's totally waterproof, so it's quite suitable to have outside. Bought a battery. I bought uh, a brand new battery from Halfords. I think it's about £40, £45, something like that. It's about the smallest battery they do. and uh, But it's quite sufficient to run this. I've had it running for quite some weeks now, and it seems fine. Um... You might wonder why I have the air intake here and not just let it draw air from inside. But uh, I did do that for a while until I once overfilled this and I had diesel trickle down inside. And of course, once I had the heater on, the smell of diesel coming into the house wasn't uh, wasn't good. Didn't much please the wife. So. Uh, I decided to um, add a bit of pipe down there and just take the air from on the outside there. Uh, you'll notice I have two areas that I'm heating. I put one pipe going in there, which goes to a lounge, and the other pipe goes in there to the bedroom. So that's all connected up by this Y piece there. Because all these bits and pieces are available off the internet. There's the Y piece. Now that's a 75mm pipe which I had to buy extra of but where it goes into the house and both bits of pipe I've got a reducer which reduces it from 75mm down to 60mm and the reason I did that was to keep it tidier more than anything when it goes in the house. I didn't want a great big 75mm hole in the wall. So I actually drilled out a 63mm hole and then put a 60mm reducer in it, 75mm down to 60mm reducer. Now when I first went through the wall, which is a double wall, with cavity wall insulation, when I first went through the wall 
I connected, well, sleeved, if you like, put a sleeve in, in the hole, and I used this plastic pipe, which is a drainage pipe, it's a 60mm drainage pipe, which worked very well, except once the, uh, once the, the heat kicked in, you got this plasticky smell in the house, and I thought, well, that's no good. So uh, I took it out, both pieces and both holes, and I looked on the internet and I came up with this. I bought some of this, it's made of neoprene, and as you can see, it's quite, it's quite flexible, and there's no smell comes from this when you put this, uh, run the hot air through there. So this wall, this hole in the wall is lined with this neoprene pipe. You can see it's got like a, I think it's a copper coil or steel coil actually, steel coil inside there. And it's, uh, it's pretty good, of course, it's going to be quite uh, weatherproof as well. I have it supported just because it gets windy here. Let's just put a few supports there just to hold the pipe steady. I'm powering the trickle charger through my electricity supply here. This is a box I've put on the wall and this cable just goes into the bedroom and plugs into the three pin socket. I'll just show you inside here. These are pretty good because they're totally waterproof. There we go, that's where the, uh, the trickle charger is plugged in. And there's my exhaust, I bought an extension for the exhaust, just simply to uh, keep the fumes away from the, uh, the air intake. Um, I'm going to take this to bits here and just show you my reducer, which reduces from 75mm down to 60mm. Right. Here is where the pipe goes into the uh, reducer. Now, this is 75 mil and this is 75 mil. So what I had to do, I had to put some slits around the side of the pipe and just make it fit in there and tape it up. That's, uh, that's how I got around that. Unfortunately, this wasn't a little bit bigger so it could just slip inside, but, uh, but there we go, it works. Now there you can see how it reduces here to a 60mm. But one thing I do like about this, in the summer I can do away with all this and I can put it in the garage, take it all away, keep it tidy. And I bought these off the internet, it's just like a rubber bung. And I've put a, an eye, eye screw there, eye bolt, with a nut. So in the winter, sorry, in the summer when I don't need all this, Oh, by the way, I had to get a Dremel and just take a little bit off the edge there to make it fit, just off those, uh, just off the edge, and that just pushes in there. And it stops any drafts, fits quite tightly. I've got one for both holes. So in the summer, like I say, I can put all this away and just store it in the garage, and all there is is that hole there with a the bong in it. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. I'll show you inside now. Right, so this is where it comes into the bedroom. As you can see, there's my control unit. There's the inlet. And that's where the wiring comes in. And just wanted to keep it nice and neat. That goes to the three pin plug. So my power comes in there and the controller has actually got some connections inside the box there so I can unclip it and take the whole thing off if I want to. And these are very nice because to stop the draft you can just close them like that with a little flap. Plus when they are open this rotates so you can direct which direction you want the uh, the hot air to blow in. And this is the one in the lounge. 
and as you can see it's quite small and quite tidy I didn't fancy a great big 75 mil hole in uh, in my lounge in the wall so uh, this is a 60 mil the same as the other one in the bedroom and uh, yeah I think it's quite quite neat quite tidy and uh, does the job okay well thanks very much for watching